Hey everybody, Orphelos here. Welcome back to our Pokemon Sword and Shield. Last time, we tackled another couple of gems trying to, uh, take out the, uh, Pokemon. Thankfully, one of them, uh, Beat already came in and kind of destroyed things, and all that fun stuff. And this time, in Pokemon Sword and Shield, we'll be, uh, continuing our exploration throughout the other cities, seeing what else has changed. So really, inside the city, one big thing has occurred now that we're in the post-game, and that's going to be here inside the Game Freak building. So coming up over here, now that we are the champion, you might remember that there was an NPC that was wanting to have a little bit of fun once we've uh, done some other things. So I think it's the other room they're hanging out in. Alright then, here we are. So going on forward to this battle, this fight can be very difficult if you're not prepared. So yes, this is what my fight, what my team is looking like right now. I could probably give Motor and Rothbard an item real quick. Alright, this is what my team is going to be looking like. I get, um, probably should actually give Flahair an actually competent item. Um, what do we got here? Um, I'm trying to think. What else could I probably give my team? Um, fighting type moves, choice packs. Uh. You know what? Let's play Super Risky with, uh, Flahair. So yes, that's what my team's going to be looking like. This fight can actually be a very hard fight if you're not prepared. Well, blow me over. You've become the champion. Now that's something worth to be worth writing home about. The name's Morimoto. To be exact, Shigeki Morimoto. The game designer and programmer throughout much of the many Pokemon games. I've been waiting for a strong trainer like you to find me. If you got faith in your skill, can you join me in a match? That's a ticket. Now watch out because Morimoto's got more than enough to motor right over you. I already have motor. So welcome to Game Freak's Morimoto, a recurring super boss that has been throughout much of the series. This fight is a double battle too, so this fight can get very tricky very fast, so you gotta be ready on the go. So Morimoto is starting up with Cursor level 65, Perish Body for the building, Disable, Strength Sap, Shadow Ball, and Mirror Coat, so uh, don't hit with special moves. Otherwise, Grab Blocks level 65, Limber for the ability with moves Octolock, Detect, Dig, and Body Slam, so... Of the two, Cursula is the much bigger threat, so I'll go ahead and take out Cursula, and as for you, throw Glitter. So yeah, Detect, yeah, have fun with that, I don't really care. Yeah, between the two, Cursula is definitely the, be the uh, bigger threat, because Cursula is a hard-hitting Pokemon. And it has Perish Body, so you gotta switch out or sweep throughout the entire thing. Alright then. Okay, looks like he's just Urshif for that might faint. Next up is Colossal level 65, Flash Fire for the ability to use Tar Shot, Body Press, Flare Blitz, and Stone Edge. Um, what do you want to do here? Um, I kind of want to keep you around, so I'm going to head and switch out to... Because yeah, you really can't do too much to Kermuse right now, so... Um... Yeah, I'll swap out to Motor. And as for you, throw Glitter again. Hooray for Watch Rotom! The surprise Pokemon that came in! Totally because of Raid and I wanted a different Pokemon on my team. Alright, Octolock. Ah, you were trying to make me not escape. <laughs> wow, they really, really do not like motor. It came weak to fire. Wow, all these debuffs. Um, Hyder Pump, sure. And for you, throw Glitter again. Yeah, that's kind of the gimmick of the first phase. Making sure that I don't... uh. Escape, get Parish Locked, and all that stuff, just in case you're using a, a very good Sweeper. Blah, blah, blah. There we go. Colossal is down. Yeah, this fight's actually really fun. Alright, Spartoon 68. Alright, next up is going to be Stone Jorner. Stone Jorner is level 65, power spot for the ability, which increases the power of foes, so... Hooray! The one you Stone Joiner actually has! With the Stealth Rock, Stone Edge, Heavy Slam, and Rest, so... A bit more of a bulky Pokemon, however, though it has no special defense, so... 
Yeah, about that. But yeah, using a pretty decent uh, competitive team. Nice miss, Motor! Alright, there we go. Stone Joiner's down. So down to his last two Pokemon. See, his last two Pokemon can get a little very, very tricky. Alright, Motor's level 66. Next up is going to be Dragapult level 65. Clear body for the village means Dragon Darts, Thunder Wave, Shadow Ball, and Protect. And lastly, Snorlax level 65 with the ability to Dynamax and immunity for the ability to use high horsepower, superpower, giga impact, and gunk shot. Well, uh, this is awkward. Um Hydro Pump, probably go probably gonna faint. Throw glitter, I guess. This is one thing I kind of have an issue with this fight though. I wish Snorlax with Gigantamax, because Gigantamax Snorlax was in the data at the launch of the game. It would have been pretty cool to have a uh, secret Pokemon, but I guess not. Wow, you... Am I accidentally out-predicting this team? Snorlax is kind of the bigger threat. It's very bulky. And Max Ooze to really nerf us. And up goes the special attack! Playing a lot more of that support role, I guess. Ugh. Guys, what do you got? Eh, no more physical attack. Um, you know what? I'll use your turn as a sack play, I guess. Just to heal up from use. And then for your turn, Dazzling Gleam, try to take out Dragapult. I thought he used a different item. I used a uh, Max Potion, didn't I? Or am I losing it? Oof. Didn't do as much as I wanted to. Well, this is scary. Max Ooze keeps on sweeping us. Yeah, this is why Dynamax was banned on Smogon. Um, I guess her Shifu, just because, uh, that. Um, what do you want to do here, since you're primarily going to be physical attacking? Okay, I guess I did hit Moomoo Milk. I'm losing it. Okay. I guess Dark Pulse if you live. But I'm mostly going to be going after that Snorlax now. Oh, just using Shadow Ball. Yeah, oof. I thought you were gonna use Protect. Oh, well, at least down goes Snorlax. Yeah, again, this fight can get a little tough. Max moves are very overpowered in double in double battles. Like Dynamax is legit overpowered. Just because of the uh, stat buffs they give. Alright, now uh <laughs> Yeah, Rothbart! Coming in because I gave you the choice item. Hopefully it'll be enough to outspeed a, one of the fastest Pokemon in existence. You're cornered. Here comes a couple hard hitting moves. And Wicked Blow, I think, hits through Protect too. So you kinda bone. There we go. Pretty rough battle, but managed eh, to hold out. There we go, Rot Part 67. Look at that attack stat! 8 bit damage uh, limit. There we go, you feed more moto. And so we prove that the strongest and most amazing of all is actually you. And I didn't even need a save before you. You're really strong, I should have known. Since you managed to trance me, I guess you've earned yourself reward. And reward for defeating, um, Morimoto is the Oval Charm. A special key item that increases the chances of Pokemon eggs being found at nurseries. Let's have ourselves a rematch someday. So every day you can rematch Morimoto for another fight. Again, it's a hard fight, so... But then again, if you're level 100, you can melt through a team really quickly. Alright then, so that is another fight done. Whew, that could have been a whole, whole lot worse. So what am I going to do for the next fight? Um, 
Trying to think here. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go heal up my team real quick. I'm kind of on the uh, oof side, so I'll see you guys back out here. All right then. So back out here on the outside. There's one other thing from Game Freak that we can get. However, though we are not quite there yet. If we look at our Pokédex. We are at 399 out of 400, meaning that we have one more Pokemon to catch. Oh gee, I wonder if I ride this out in a very specific manner so that way there's one Pokemon left for us to catch. And we've already seen that Pokemon before, wink wink nudge nudge. Okay, with that with that stuff out of the way, there's nothing really else here in town in the post game. Just the more mo Moto fights, so. I guess with this is all done, so head on in. Hello there, Gordy. Get to safety, you three! Who do you think you're talking to, then? We're here to help, not be helped. Oh, actually, I didn't realize who I was talking to. Or here, so everyone can relax. I was just thinking how to handle all the Dynamax Pokemon. With you all here, we can take one out. We can all take them all in one at a time. Let's hurry to the pitch. Alright, and now we have a fight against Emax Gigalith for Pokemon Sword. Gigalith is level 62. Sturdy for the ability with Moose Rock Slides, uh, Earthquake, Stone Edge, and Throw Chop. So I can't get the one shot on you, so. Let's get the Paralyze, I guess. Oh, Rockfall, that works too. Otherwise, Pokemon Shield, we happen to deal with the Dynamax Frostlass, level 62, levitate for the ability, Icy Wind, Shadow Ball, Thunder, and Psychic. So, yeah. Fight can be a little bit nasty, but thanks to having its low special defense, it's going to be a miss. God damn it. Well, this was a very productive turn. I see that the AI is a little bit on the derp side. Oh yeah, special defense buff during that thing. Yeah, sorry Motor. You just have no luck anymore. I should have brought in Rose Raid. Well, crap. Another Shifu get out here. I was expecting to not miss, but then again, this is my luck we're talking about. You know, super fun things. Alright, Shifu, just carry everything. Nice work, everyone. No one's hurt, are they? <laughs> just barely. Finally, a Dynamax Pokemon on your, all your own is pretty hard work. Yeah, I expected nothing less from you, Orph. You seem quite the reliable trainer, too, huh? I, I do. Looks like you he ain't used to compliments. Look, he's got a grin whiter than a Meowth. I do not. Shut your gob, Pierce. I'll take care of the Pokemon when you battled, so there's no need for any of you to worry, alright? Orph. It's hardly a word what you've done for me, but please take my copy of, of a lead card. Otherwise, Melanie's rare lead card. If anything comes up, please contact me. Alright then, I wish you all the best of luck for the future. Alright, another one done. Looks like most of the teams have got the Cinemax problem sorted now. Let's keep up the pace, Orph. There is only one stadium left with the Dynamax Trouble left. Let's finish this already. Alright then, so... Yeah, we've done a little bit of progress this episode. Um, I think that's probably going to be it for the episode. I know I've been kind of making this filler content, but... I just realized that we have something that we can do now in Spike Month. I just realized that. And that fight can go a little bit long too, so... I guess we'll go ahead and fast travel back to Pokemon Center. And all that stuff, so we did a good progress episode. We uh, explored Sir Chester, fought a very hard fight, and a not so hard fight. So, I guess with that all done, next time, Pokemon Sword and Shield, we are going to finish up the gym challenge once and for all again, visiting the last two gems, and seeing this through to the end. I will see you all then. Now, if you'll excuse me, I don't want to talk to you, Colossal. You make ending episodes awkward, okay?